Hey guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. As many of you know, Google has begun the official rollout of Lollipop on the Nexus 10, Nexus 5, and other devices will be rolling out soon. If you head into Settings and About Phone and check for system updates, you don't get the update. Don't worry, Google is rolling them out in batches. Uh, this is for security reasons. If they roll out the first batch and it ruins everyone's device, then they're obviously not going to let everyone else ruin their device. They'll go back to the drawing board, fix the update, and then roll out the new update. This update has already been pulled. It's available in over-the-air zip form, and I'm going to show you guys the way to ADB sideload that zip and install it on your Nexus 10. So first, you're going to want to make sure that you're on 4.4.4, so you'll need to be on the latest build already, and you'll need stock recovery installed. Uh, the easiest way to do that is just to flash a stock image, and that'll get you all squared away. So we'll go into About Tablet, Android 4.4.4, KTU84P is the build number you should be on. We'll go ahead and hit that several times until it says you're now a developer. Okay, we'll then go into our developer options and enable USB debugging. Okay, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and plug in our device to our computer. Okay, when you see this allow USB debugging, you're going to hit always allow from this computer and hit OK. And then we can set this to the side for now. So if you head to the link in the descriptions, it'll bring you to droidlife.com. They actually have pulled some of the over-the-air updates. They've got a download link so far for Nexus 5 and Nexus 10. And they say that they've got links incoming on the 4, Nexus 7, uh, 2013, and 12 Wi-Fi editions. So you want to check back uh, frequently for those updates. So what you'll do is go ahead and download your over-the-air update. Once it's completed downloading, you'll go ahead and open that, or show it in the folder rather. You're not gonna unzip this, you're gonna leave it zipped, and you're gonna place it in your Android SDK platform tools. Now I'll be sure to include a link in the description on how to set up your SDK. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, so we'll just copy this file, and we will place it in our SDK folder. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna open up a terminal, and we'll go ahead and navigate to this folder. So CD, and for me it's users, Shane Starnes, desk, top, Android, platform, tools. Okay, so I'm in that folder. I'm gonna go ahead and ADB devices to make sure that it can see my device. It can. Now I'm gonna ADB reboot bootloader. That's going to boot me into the bootloader. From there I'll need to go ahead and boot into recovery. So from this screen we're going to scroll down until we see recovery mode and select power to get into recovery mode. Okay as soon as we see this guy we're going to hit volume down and power to get into the uh, recovery. Okay so then we're going to scroll down to apply from ADB and hit power to select. Then we'll kind of set this down to the side. Okay, so now what you want to do is go back into your platform tools folder and copy the name of this zip. So we'll copy the entire name here. So from zip all the way to the beginning here, we'll copy that. You could actually rename this to make it a little easier, but anyhow, we'll copy that. In fact, no, let's just go ahead and rename it. We'll name this ota.zip. Okay, so we'll go ahead in our terminal here, and we will type adb sideload and then the file name, which we changed to ota.zip. So adb sideload ota.zip, and that's going to begin to flash the file. So it's going to send the file first. You'll see it's a large file. It is shows us the progress there, and as soon as it sends the file, it's going to go ahead and flash that file. So you're not going to have to do anything else in recovery. It'll go ahead and flash it. Once it's flashed, we will be on the latest version of Android on our Nexus 10. Okay, so once that's finished, you'll notice that it's going to begin to start flashing the file. You'll notice your progress bar here, and it'll say that it verified the system. It's removing unneeded files, patching the system files, and then it's going to flash the system. So all of that will appear in your recovery, so you just kind of let it do its thing. This could take up to 5 or 10 minutes, and then of course the first initial boot might take a while as well. So we'll go ahead and let it do its thing. Okay, so when it's all finished, it'll say that the uh, install from ADB is complete and we'll just hit power to reboot the system. And you will now have Android Lollipop 5.0 installed on your Nexus 10, Nexus 5, Nexus 7. This method works on all devices. Big shout outs to Droid Life for putting up the OTAs. I'm sure you can get them in other places as well. 
Um, people are pulling the OTAs as they come out. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.